Hey there gang, you're Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn how to play Werewolves of London by Warren Zevin. This is a really simple tune with only three chords in it, so um, I'm just going to jump into it right away and show you uh, what I'm doing here. For those of you that need help with the chords and the rhythm and that sort of thing, stick around and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, since this song is so simple, um, I'm going to be showing you some extra bits here, um, technique-wise and that sort of thing, that you can think about for this tune. Okay, so it's going to go something like this. I won't play the whole tune just because it's the same chord progression for like four minutes long, five minutes long, something like that. So it's going to go something like this. So that's the intro and the verse and the chorus and everything. I think there may be a solo in the song. sometimes a lot more complex, um, and the techniques that I'm using here, if you don't understand them, if you don't know how to play a D, a C, or a G chord, um, or the strumming techniques that I'm doing, or finger picking, or that sort of thing, check out yourguitarsage.com. I have an ebook there that will help you with all these different types of techniques, and also it'll give you access to all the charts that, um, that I put up for your pleasure there, so that you can play these tunes and look at the chart that I'm looking at here. Okay, now this tune's real simple, but for songs that have a lot more chords and that are more complex, it's nice to look at a chart. So check that out. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe, of course. Um, here we go. So the technique that I'm using, of course, this is a piano. There's no guitar in this tune, or at least as far as the rhythm, there's not. And as far as the rhythm, guitar, what I'm doing is I do like a... So let me show you what I'm doing. If it's a D chord, of course, whatever chord it is, I thumb the bass note. So if it's a D chord, I thumb the D on the one. So one, two, three. You know, whenever the chord changes, I'm thumbing that note. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. The rest of it, I'm doing like a. Um, so I'm I'm doing like a one and smack. Okay, so I'm doing the uh, the and of the chord by lifting my hand up and smacking the top string. So I'm doing like a one. Hitting that on my two, so like one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. Okay, that's the simple version of it. One and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. Okay, and I have a little bit of a variation on that where I go. Do that other little note there, like a. Okay, 
And so it's like every note has an upbeat, or every every beat has an up, every chord has an upbeat here. So I'm going. Now when I'm changing my hand, moving my hand, I just kind of hit whatever notes are there open, and it sounds nice. hitting this uh, G right here, but you can hit them any of them. You know, I like hitting that one note there. And then for the C chord, I'm going... And again, I'm hitting that open G. And it's probably, I'm doing that probably naturally because the song is in the key of G. We resolve those two chords, the 5, the 4, the 1, and we're resolving this on a G, so... It's probably why that G works so well, and naturally, it's what I'm playing. So, now that last time is a little bit different. I'm going, okay. So, one and two and again. Again on the four, or let it result, let it ring out. Three, four, you know, or go. Three, four. The way I'm playing it is, I, I actually hit it, I smack the strings again on the four, so like this. strings kind of takes place of a snare, you know, if we're going one, two, three, so this is one, two, four, so on the two and the four, I'm hitting that, okay, and I'm taking my thumb just enough to smack these lower strings against the neck, it gives it kind of a, like a little snare sound. That's the simple version of that tune. If you don't know this tune and you just subscribe to my videos and you don't know this tune, check it out. Just go ahead and uh, search Warren Devon, Werewolves of London. This is a great tune that was uh, featured in the movie um, American Werewolf in London, which is a great movie if you haven't seen it. Um, but check the tune out. It's a great tune, really fun, really simple tune. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe. And for all that's good in the world, go to yourguitarsage.com and get that ebook, kids. Keep practicing. See you soon.